Hey everybody, RetroPyGuy here. Today we're going to go over how to enable your analog sticks on your main games in RetroPie. If you're using a gamepad controller on these games with analog sticks, you may find that only the D-pad navigates you in games. The reason why this happens is because MAME assigns your D-pad to your joystick controls by default, but we can easily enable your analog sticks to be recognized within the MAME settings, so both your D-pad as well as your analog sticks will navigate you in games. So in order to do this today, I'm going to demo this on Pac-Man. So right now I'm using a PlayStation controller with dual analog sticks, but my analog sticks don't work at all. So when I try to navigate um, through this game with them, nothing happens at all. Um, so I have to use the D-pad, which isn't the worst thing in the world, but it is kind of hard to uh, make turns, especially in a game like Pac-Man where it's sharp turns that you want to happen, you know, right away. So it is much easier to use the analog sticks because the analog sticks function just like a joystick would. And since this game is obviously meant for uh, being played on an arcade with a joystick, it just makes sense that we would use it with the analog stick as opposed to the D-pad. So in order to do this, we do have to jump into our RetroArch settings. To do this, we're going to hold down the select button or whichever button you have assigned as your hotkey. Uh, in most cases, it's gonna be the select button. So you would hold down select and the X button when you're in the game. So I'm gonna just jump into this real quick. We'll let this load. This is Pac-Man on MAME. There's a bunch of different Pac-Mans available for other consoles as well. Um, you could do this the same, same way basically, but most of those are gonna work um, right off the bat with your analog sticks. It's gonna be the MAME one that always seems to default to the D-pad. So if I were to jump in here right now, I'd only be able to use my D-pad, not my analog sticks. So like I said, we're gonna hit select and X at the same time. Once we do that, we come to this quick menu here. So now we have to go down and hit our B button to back out one page. Um, if you are on a PlayStation controller, depending on how you set that up, it's either gonna be your X or your circle button. Um, typically when you're mapping this, if you follow the prompts through here, it's probably gonna be your X button that's gonna back you out here. And you'll see you have some additional options under this main menu here. So we're gonna go down to settings. We're gonna select that. You would hit A to select, or uh, again, depending on how you set up your PlayStation controller, it would be either the circle button or the X button. For me, it's the circle because I followed the prompts. Um, and now we are gonna jump down to input, which is the fourth option down. And we are gonna jump down to port one binds. We'll select that. And now the second option down you'll see is analog to digital type. And you can see here that it's selected to none. That means that it's not pulling anything from our analog sticks right now. So we wanna go in and change that. So we're gonna select that. Again, hit A or your circle or X depending on how you set this up. And you can see here now we have none is selected but we wanna change this to either the left or right analog. So you wanna figure out now which analog stick on your controller you want to use to navigate. Um, typically, it's gonna be the left one, but again, this is just personal preference. I'm gonna go ahead and select the left option in order to do that again, A, circle, X, however you have that set up um, at, on your gamepad controller. Once you select that, it'll bump you back out to the port one binds page, but you'll see that that second option there now says left analog instead of none. So what that means is that now you're gonna be able to navigate in your main games with your D-pad as well as your left analog, or if you selected right analog, you'll have access to that one. So next thing that we need to do is we need to go down to save auto config. This is very important. If you just back out from here, it will not save that upon exit. You do need to hit save auto config. So again, hit your A button or your circle button, X if you've configured it that way. And you'll see in the corner, it says auto config file saved successfully. So now you can exit this by hitting select and X again. It's gonna bring you right back to your game, exactly where you left off. So now I'm gonna insert my credits here, jump in here and hit start. And we're gonna see if this works. And again, we set this as our left analog stick so I'm gonna be just using my left analog stick. I'm not even gonna hit the D-pad. All right, 
so that worked perfectly. Um, like I said before, it's so hard to be able to um, navigate, especially in a game like Pac-Man, where you have to hit those sharp turns and um, be really precise. It's super hard to do that with the D-pad. It just doesn't, by the time you hit like a uh, left turn, you've usually passed where you need to go. So it can be super frustrating to play like that. Um, so this is how you go in, fully enable that. I just did that, it works perfectly. You can see I was able to make all those turns um, super precisely. So I, I find that this is the best way to play a lot of the main games. It's unfortunate that it doesn't pick up those analog sticks right off the bat, but we have to remember there are controllers out there that just don't have um, analog sticks, you know, like the Super Nintendo controller, the Genesis controller, a lot of those early retro uh, gamepad controllers don't have analog sticks. So I think that's why it defaults to the D-pad because obviously all of those um, gamepad controllers all have D-pads. So um, it's a super easy fix, but I've been getting that question a lot lately. So hopefully this helps you out. If you found this video helpful, please give us a thumbs up. Be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel where we do a whole bunch of tutorials like this, gameplay demos, product reviews, um, as well as some stuff with virtual pinball, which will be coming very soon. So definitely check back and check that out. And of course, check us out online on our website, www.retropieguy.com. Thanks for watching.